Hello everyone. Welcome once again to Sanat Easy Mind Tutorials. Today in this video we will discuss ICMR Assistant Skill Test Memory Based Mock Test Paper which was held on 28th of August 2021 and in this module we will discuss Microsoft Excel. So if you are new to the channel and you are preparing the skill tests and CPT mock tests then do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Also join the telegram groups for free practice papers. The link is available in the description box. In the next video onwards, we will discuss the other two modules that is Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Word. So let us start with the question. पहले मैं आपको एक इंफॉर्मेशन दे देना चाहता हूं जो कि है कंप्यूटर प्रोफिशिएंसी टेस्ट यानी कि जो स्किल टेस्ट होता है उसके बारे में अगर आप कोई भी एग्जाम दे रहे हैं तो उसका टायर 2 में अगर कंप्यूटर प्रोफिशिएंसी टेस्ट या फिर स्किल टेस्ट के बारे में पूछा जाता है और अगर आपको ऐसे भी कंप्यूटर का अगर जनरल नॉलेज चाहिए कंप्यूटर के बारे में जानना है आपको और कहीं पे भी आप काम करते हैं जहां पे आपको ऐसा स्किल्स चाहिए तो आप बिल्कुल ये कोर्स परचेज कर सकते हैं बहुत ही मिनिमल प्राइस में आप देख सकते हैं सिर्फ 49 रुपीस का है तो अगर आपको इससे रिलेटेड डिटेल जानकारी चाहिए या फिर इससे रिलेटेड कुछ भी आपको इस तरीके के वीडियोस देखना है तो आप राइट टॉप कॉर्नर में देख सकते हैं आई बटन पर वहां पे जाके कंप्यूटर प्रोफिशिएंसी टेस्ट का प्लेलिस्ट को पूरा देख सकते हैं या फिर आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में भी इसका प्लेलिस्ट का लिंक मिल जाएगा यहां पे आपको सारे टैब समझाए जाएंगे एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ एमएस वर्ड एक्सेल एंड पावर पॉइंट पीडीएफ्स आपको मिलेगा मॉक पीडीएफ जो आपको सॉल्व करना है और उसका वीडियो सॉल्यूशन आप हिंदी और इंग्लिश दोनों में सुन सकते हैं सारे वीडियोस आपको रिकॉर्डेड मिलेंगे और वो हिंदी और इंग्लिश दोनों में कवर्ड हुआ है तो लैंग्वेज का आपको टेंशन नहीं लेना है जितने भी एडवांस फंक्शन है लेटेस्ट पैटर्न के ऊपर बेस सभी आपका यहां पे कवर हो जाएगा दोस्तों क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 क्रिएट अ स्कैटर विद ट्रेंड लाइंस चार्ट फॉर द फंक्शन सो दिस इज अ फंक्शन f(x) x 5 x 1 इन द इंटरवल -2, 2 means you have to include minus 2 as well as 2 in this interval you need to put the value of x find f of x using the formula that is available in the ms excel and then you need to plot that scatter chart so let us solve this question so let us open microsoft excel so when you open the microsoft excel this is the front page worksheet as you know so here we will create uh, first we will write the function this is the function you have f of x equal to x power 5 plus x plus 1 this function you need to plot okay so now what we will do we will make a table like we will make x and then f of x so here first you uh, first you give the value of x okay so let us take the value of x as 0 then here let us take as 1 so here you have to proceed till 2 okay and then you need to proceed till minus 2 this is the range from minus 2 to plus 2 for minus 2 you need to calculate f of x so you have to put here in the place of x you have to put minus 2 so how you will do that you need not calculate it manually you have to put the formula here so you have to go to this formula bar you have to type equal to then after equal to you have to give the opening bracket and then you need to select the value of x because this minus 2 in the function you have x to the power 5 so select first x this is the x then close the bracket then give exponent this is exponent shift and 6 key you have in your keyboard you see shift button plus 6 button this will be uh, the exponent function okay to the power 5 give your 5 then give plus after that you have x so again select this one x then plus 1 this is your function ye aapka function hai then press equal to ye ab aapka ho gaya hai now just drag this ab isko aap drag karenge to ye aapka pura function le lega you can see here all the things have been calculated ab jahan pe bhi aap click karte hain to aapka formula yahan pe aa jayega aap dekh sakte hain okay so this is the way you need to calculate the values of f of x from the value of x now you need to draw a graph okay scatter chart first you select this plot area then you go to insert you have to insert pe jana hai. and insert you can see here scatter option okay click here then you can draw a scatter 
suppose you select this scatter with smooth lines and markers okay you have to select this so this is the scatter you are getting now delete this legend legend ko hata dijiye now you can see in the x axis you can see in the x axis this is showing the x values and in the y axis you can see these are the f of x values okay this is the plot now you need to add the axis ab aapko axis add karna hai okay so how you can do that you go to your layout layout mein jaiye in layout you can see this option axis titles okay here you can see primary horizontal axis then click here title below axis after this you can get the title here then right here this is your x ye aapka x hai x axis mein ab isko aap yahan pe le jaiye drag karke place it here okay so it is done just make the area little bit more okay you can also reduce this area of the graph aise bhi aap kar sakte hain isko thoda side mein le sakte hain okay its size also you can increase here little bit make it more large suppose we will make it 12 size next ab aap jaiye fir se axis mein और यहाँ पे जाइए प्राइमरी वर्टिकल एक्सेस और यहाँ पे आप जाइए हॉराइजेंटल टाइटल इसको हॉराइजेंटल लिए लीजिए और यहाँ पे देन यू राइट योर एफ ऑफ एक्स बिकॉज इन वाई एक्सिस यू हैव प्लॉटेड एफ ऑफ एक्स अब इसको आप ऊपर ले जाइए ड्रैग इट एंड प्लेस इट हियर इन द टॉप नाउ क्लिक हियर यहाँ पे प्लॉट के एरिया में क्लिक कीजिए इफ यू क्लिक ऑन द प्लॉट एरिया हियर यू कैन फाइंड दीज दीज मार्कर्स In which you can reduce the area of the plot. So यहाँ से plot के area को थोड़ा कम कर लीजिए तो आपका f of x अच्छे से नजर आने लगेगा Okay, here is the f of x. So this is the y axis, this is the x axis, and this is the plot. Now अगर आपको ये grid lines remove करना है if you want to remove these grid lines, what you need to do? You have to again select in the plot. यहाँ पे plot area में आपको click करना है जैसे ही plot area में आप click करेंगे तभी आपका ऊपर ये option enable होगा The time you click on the plot, this chart tools will enable. Then here you need to go. Uh, to your design part not design in the layout part itself you can see here grid lines in the grid lines if you go to primary horizontal grid lines then make it none isko none kar dijiye now you can see there are no grid lines available here now you need to uh, plot the trend line because in the question it was asked to plot a trend line so you have to go to trend line trend line mein jaake yahan pe aap dekh sakte hain linear trend line you can select this one if you select this see this is the trend line this is the reference uh, upon which this plot has been plotted so this is the correct way to solve this question i hope you understood how we solve this question if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section now let us solve the second question create a table database as per the figure shown below so this employee database you need to create so this is the table employee name sales which is provided and you have to calculate commission and salary and you have to shadow this basic pay is given as 20000 then you need to calculate sum of the salary which you have calculated average of the total salary max value and minimum value so this formula you have to use salary equal to base pay plus commission where commission you can calculate that is 2% of sales so let us now solve this question first you need to type all these things in ms excel you need to prepare this table and all so let us prepare the table and type all the things this is the table employee name sales commission salary okay so this is the table you can see and these are the names for simplicity i have made it abc def xyz and so on these are the sales so first let us calculate the commission how can you calculate the commission press here then press equal to commission is equal to 2% of sales so what is 2% that is 0.02 okay 0.02 into the sales is this one okay now press enter so ye aapka commission ho gaya hai so drag it accordingly the commission you can find here from the sales next is your salary salary is basic pay plus commission so press here equal to then select the basic pay that is 20000 so you have to write here 20000 then plus you need to add the commission part then press equal to so this is the salary drag it then it will be applied to all the rows okay so this is the salary we have calculated now what you need to do you have to calculate the sum so now you need to calculate the sum so here as this sum is not written below this so you need to apply the formula yahan pe aapko formula type karna padega kyunki sum ka jo cell hai wo iske niche nahi hai under mein nahi hai so what you need to do you have to press equal to then you have to type sum so hum aapko type karna hai aur yahan se sum select kar lena hai then you have to select the cells yahan se cell ko select kar lena hai then 
क्लोज द ब्रैकेट एंड देन प्रेस एंटर अब आप देख सकते हैं दिस इज द सम फ्रॉम डी ट्वेंटी टू टू डी ट्वेंटी सेवन ओके ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी सेवन यस अब आपको एवरेज निकालना है सिमिलर प्रोसेस प्रेस इक्वल टू देन टाइप ए वी जी एवरेज ए वी यू कैन फाइंड योर एवरेज डबल क्लिक यहाँ पे कर दीजिए और देन यू कैन सिलेक्ट द सेल्स देन क्लोज द ब्रैकेट देन प्रेस एंटर सो ये आपका एवरेज बन गया इसका आप जो है डेसिमल पॉइंट कम कर सकते हैं यू कैन रिड्यूस द डेसिमल पॉइंट फ्रॉम हियर so here this is the this is to reduce the decimal point i am reducing it to two decimal points okay then max salary again press here equal to then type ma so max you can get double click then select all these columns close the bracket this is the maximum salary 21000 you can see here and again minimum salary equal to mi type then mean double click kar dijiye and select all the cells and close the bracket then press enter this is the minimum value so this is the second question which we have solved like this so and here you have to also highlight this with this color you can see okay so this is all about the question which were asked in icmr assistant skill test in the ms excel part in the upcoming videos we will discuss about ms word and ms excel i hope this video is useful it will be useful for all the aspirants who are going to appear for any type of skill tests or computer proficiency test in your future thank you thanks for watching and god bless you all